Okay, hi guys. Okay, so, you know the last video I put up, sorry, the uh, internet has been really, really sluggish the last few days. So that was actually, obviously, done on the day of the eclipse. Felt really good that day. Did a lot of meditating, a lot of being outside in the sun. And uh, so that was awesome. Now the next day, and you guys know I don't do time, I don't do dates at all. Uh, the next date, I really thought that I had the flu, which I think that was yesterday or the day before yesterday. Anyway, I thought I had the flu. The symptoms were very flu-like symptoms, and there's a pretty bad bug going around up down here in this area. So I thought it was the flu. But then today I started feeling better, started doing some look-see. And what I have seen, what it looks like to me, is on New Year's Eve, the energy... As I, as I told you guys, I stood still and then I went up through the sun, central sun, source back down to the center of the earth and then caused those spirals to go up and down, up and down. Well, looking back at it, to me, the, a good portion of that, not all, of course, but a good portion of that was divine masculine energy, which makes sense because it did go through our sun, which is the divine masculine so what I felt was a lot of divine masculine energy uh, back on the planet and available to people, which is probably why I started having those videos about divine fe feminine and divine masculine, because I could definitely feel the the um, the way that that shadow um, masculine was out of whack with divine masculine. So anyway, I brought that in, toodle on, toodle on. Now I go to the eclipse. Well, the eclipse energy, I did basically the same thing that I did in New Year's Eve, but I did it from here, and I went up through the moon, up, 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 and back down, and did spiral, and drew both sides into me, and definitely to me, I felt a stronger feminine energy with that super blue blood moon. What a cool name. Super Blue Blood Moon. Can't say that three times in a row. Blue Blood Moon. Anyway, I definitely felt feminine energy with that one and felt a definite uh, spark or increase in the divine feminine energies on this planet. So what I did was I took both of them in to me and tried to merge them and begin the sorting out process of what is divine masculine and what is divine feminine and how to balance these two within myself and uh, yeah to move forward towards 5d so i was really shocked at how many things were out of whack when it comes to the divine feminine and the divine masculine and how much uh personally for me there's it's going to take some time for me to go through these things and my day-to-day -day life to remove the things that are not divine and what's left with the divine masculine and feminine to balance those two within myself. And then, of course, visualize going to a collective where everyone is doing that. But, yeah, there's a lot of little tiny things that I did not expect that now that I have those energies um, in my vocabulary, so to speak, because remember what I said before was in 3D, Basically, divine feminine and divine masculine weren't even available on this planet. Kind of like pure unconditional love wasn't even available on the planet. Because it was outside the range. In order to get to those lowest vibrations of 3D, something had to be given up. And those highest uh, divine masculine, divine feminine, pure unconditional love were outside of that range. So now that we've raised it back up and we're up to 4D and moving up through 4D, then we can now access again those um, vibrations of, of divine masculine and divine feminine. They're now available. So now I'm starting to sort through them and see them and in, in, um, involve them or weave them in my life and improve the vibrations of the feminine and the masculine that I have been dealing with all of my life so that I can step those up into the higher higher vibrations. I still don't feel true unconditional love on the planet yet, but 
I did ask that question of the other side, and what I got was when uh, there is enough active divine masculine and divine feminine on the planet in um, balance, then that is when the true unconditional love energy vibration will be accessible on this planet, which is good to know. So another reason why I should do that. <laughs> so anyway, whenever I brought all of that in, of course, doing it way too fast, like I do almost everything, then it was too much energy in my body. And that's where I got that, those flu-like symptoms. I had to ask after the fact, but that is actually what happened. So now that I've got those kind of sorted and kind of tamped down a little bit, kind of got a handle on them a little bit, I wanted to share that information with y'all that you should be able to access that divine masculine and divine feminine. And really, guys, it's going to be a, you're going to be doing the same thing I am, and that is pretty much say hi. Hi, Inca. <laughs> oh, yes. Divine feminine and masculine in, in balance in that puppy dog. Right. So, really, you're going to probably be doing the same thing I'm doing, and that is walking through day by day assessing your life moment to moment on what makes you happier and happier. Definitely um, doing things that are divine, masculine, and feminine, and divine masculine within you, and feminine within yourself being in balance will definitely make you feel happier. And definitely um, doing or being involved in things that are not divine, masculine, and feminine, or having divine masculine and feminine out of balance will make you more unhappy. So you should be able to use my same basic rule, happier and happier, to assess where you are and which direction to go on that too. From your day-to-day -day life, it still comes down to you're heading towards 5D. What does 5D look like? Is what I'm doing right now, does that match what 5D is to me? Okay, so there's the basics, of course, no fear, no judgment, heading towards uh, unity consciousness, heading towards knowing that we're all one. Of course, as you know, as I explained in the other one, as long as you're in this creation, you will not be in oneness. You will not be in true unity consciousness because that's the original division of this creation to be to begin with. But you get, can get closer to unity consciousness you get closer to oneness and that will be that will happen by being happier and happier and happier okay so anyway i wanted to let you all know that that's how i uh got the energies from the eclipse and that's how they played out so i did have kind of a rough day for a day or two um, afterwards but that has settled right on out and it has certainly made it easier for me to identify uh, what is divine masculine and feminine, although it's a surprise every day or every moment, I should say, since it hasn't been days and days as I was sorting this out, right? Okay. All right, guys, uh, that's it for now. Don't know what I'll be talking about next time, but I uh, hope you guys are having a good evening. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Huge hugs, and I love you bunches. Bye now.